And then welcome to Yoga with Katie. Today's going to be a yoga flow class. So we're going to start in the lying down position. So take your time to come lie down on your yoga mat. Bend both knees, your spine will automatically release. Keeping the natural curve in your lower back and down by your side, palm facing down. Close your eyes for a moment. Taking a few calming breaths. When you inhale, belly and chest rise like a balloon. And when you exhale, draw the belly button back to your spine. Couple more breaths here, and we'll slowly open up the eyes, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Gently turning your neck left and right. We're gonna inhale the arms up above the head, point your toes, big, big stretch, rib cage rising. And then we're gonna walk the hands and feet over to the right side as far as you can go. Outside hand, grab on the inside wrist, inside foot on outside ankle, forming a banana shape. Feel the length in the side of your body. The entire body is still on the mat. We have a roll over. You stay here for three, two, one, slowly walking the hands and feet over to the other side of the mat, as far as you can go. Inside foot on outside ankle, outside hand grab for the inside wrist. Try not to lift the body off the mat. Feel the length in the side of your body. One more breath, and we're slowly walking the hands and feet back to the center. And down by your side. Bend both knees. Grab your arms around your knees. Rocking side to side. Coming into big circular motion if you like. Covering your big area. Massage your lower back and sacrum. When you're in the center position, go the other way, reverse. So knee to chest is also what you're going to do to relieve back knee. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Lifting the head chest up, head to knee, squeeze. Make yourself into a ball. Slowly release the head down, feet up to the sky, coming into a happy baby. Bend both knees, hands on the bottom of your feet. Press down so that the knees are close to the armpit, rocking side to side. Massaging the entire spine, entire back. Opening up the hip joint. Feel free to close your eyes and listen to my verbal instruction. So you don't have to keep popping your head up to see what I'm doing. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Open up your legs in the big V. Grab all the big toes or any part of the legs. And you can continue to rock side to side. Touching down on the floor if you like, if you have room. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Bring the legs together. Flex the feet. And down by your side. Palm facing down. Stretch out the hamstring. Let the blood circulate back to your heart. Having your circulation. Once you have your blood circulation, it may improve your overall wellness. 
increase your immunity level, improve digestion and sleep quality. Now we'll lift the head chest up, reach for your toes. If you can grab all the toes, go ahead, or any part of the legs. Try not to carry tension in your neck, shoulders, or upper back. We will stay here for three, two, one, slowly release the head down and then release up. Take an inhale and center, exhale, bring both legs to the right side, one to two o'clock, left hips automatically comes up, inhale, center, exhale to the left, right hip automatically comes up. So we're going to do it again, inhale, center, exhale, to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, to the left. Slowly, slowly, come back to center. We're gonna do three rounds of leg lift. First round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two, when your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up to the sky. Take a breath here. Second round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three, two. When your legs are one feet off the ground, bend both knees. Lifting the legs back up. Take a breath here. Last round, lower down for seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, all the way down. Bounce it a few times. Coming into the bridge pose. Bend both knees. Your knees are two fists apart. Walk the heel, close your fingertips. If you like to squeeze the block, bring the block between your thighs. Press firmly on the mat. On the inhale, we're gonna lift the hips high, high up. Forming a bridge. Shine the chest up to the ceiling. Roll the shoulder in underneath your bridge. Interlace the fingers. Pull the knuckles towards the heels. Keeping your bridge high up. Engage your core abdominal muscles. Your quarters up and your glutes are firm. So in another word, squeeze your stomach in tight. Your thighs and your butt are firm. But not to the point of cramping. We're strengthening the front abdominal muscles and the low back muscles. Keeping your spine healthy and strong, especially if you have back pain. And we're gonna stay up here for four, three, two, one. Release the hands from underneath your bridge. One vertebrae at a time, release the spine back down and you can remove your block. When you wipe it, dropping the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Hips can come off. Knees don't necessarily have to touch the ground. Hip release. Now we're gonna open up and drop both knees to the right side. Forming a 90-90 degree. If accessible, walking the left foot outside of the mat. Make sure the left foot stay down. Now you're gonna feel the stretch here, quarter side hip joint. For more intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh, dragging it a little bit lower. And we're gonna stay here for three, two, one, slowly, slowly release. When show I a few more times, hip release. And when you're ready, we're gonna drop both knee to the other side. Walking your right foot outside the mat if it's susceptible. 
right hand or right ankle, make sure the right butt stay down. More intensive stretch, outside foot on inside thigh. Dragging it a little bit closer. A little bit of discomfort here. Slowly, slowly release. Windshield wipe her a few more times. Release any tension that you may have. Really straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. When releasing on the right side, wrap your hands around the right knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Give it a good squeeze as we massage organs on the right side as well as ascending cone. Right hand on right knee, using a gentle circular motion, massaging the right hip joint. Five times one way, five times reverse. Coming into a spinal twist, right from the left thigh, opposite hand guiding the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Right arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Turn a little bit of right side of your neck is good. Hips automatically comes up. So we're stretching, toning the lower back muscles to support your spine, especially if you have back pain. One more breath here. We're gonna slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs, bounce in a few times. Repeat on the other side. Wrap your hands around the left knee. Draw it close to the chest or armpit. Inhale, relax, exhale, squeeze. Massage your organs on the left side, as well as descending cold. Anytime you feel bloated in the abdomen, constipated, you can try to release it and see if it's gonna help you. And from here, we're going to go spinal twist. Left foot on right thigh, opposite hand guiding the top knee as close to the floor as possible. Feel free to extend the top leg. Left arm on shoulder height, palm facing down. Twisting the lower back muscles like you're wringing out a towel. Creating spaces between L4 and L5 helping you to relieve back pain. Slowly, slowly bring everything back to the center. Straighten out the legs. Bounce it a few times. Keep your knees bent, we're gonna go into a figure four. Right foot on left thigh, flexing the right foot to protect the right knee. Loop the hand through the opening, grab behind the left thigh. Right elbow, push the right thigh out. You're going to immediately feel the stretch here, right hip flexor, opening up the right hip joint, helping people to relieve sciatica condition. Slowly, slowly release. And we'll repeat figure four on the other side, left foot on right thigh. Flexing the left foot to protect the left knee. Lift the head through the opening, grab behind the right thigh. Left arm will push the left thigh out. Draw the knee close to your body. And you're gonna immediately feel a stretch in the left hip flexor. Opening up the left hip joint. Feel free to extend the right leg. Walking heads higher up. Pull the right leg close to your body. 
If this is causing you a whole lot of pain and discomfort, you can ease off or put the right foot back down on your mat. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. We're gonna get ready to come up. So we're gonna bend both knees. Drop both knees to the right side, raise your right arm. Roll over to the right side of the body. And when you're ready, use your left hand to push yourself up, coming into a comfortable seated position. We're gonna inhale the arms up above the head, turn the palm up, exhale down. Deep, deep inhale through your nose and deep, deep exhale through your nose. We're not gonna hold our breath. Inhale, arms up to lengthen. Exhale down. One last one. Inhale, arms up. Lengthening the spine. Exhale down. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Stretching up the neck next. Get to your shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guide or support the head. Lengthening, stretch. Relieve any tension that you may have. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. Now the other side, you have to shoulder extend the opposite arm out. Using the same hand, guide or support the head. Stretch. If there's any stiffness in your neck, just stay here for a little longer. No need to rush. Staying here for three, two, one. Slowly come back to center. Take an inhale, the center, exhale, turn over the right shoulder. Only go to where you can. Inhale, center, exhale to the other side. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Chin up and back. And then chin to chest. Both ways for stimulating thyroid gland. Inhale, center. Exhale, look at the right armpit. Slightly cut the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Slowly come back up. Take a breath here, and we're going to go and look at the other armpit. Slightly cut the chin in. 45 degree angle. Looking down. Slowly, slowly come back up. Shoulder stretch, right arm up, and across. Cool back, creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Slowly, slowly release. Same arm up, we lengthen first. Place the palm behind the back. Use the other hand to guide the elbow. Tricep stretch. Those who combine hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. And we're gonna slowly, slowly release. Shake it out. The other side, arm up and across, pull back. Creating resistance. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Slowly release. Same arm up, lengthen first. Place the palm behind your back. Use the other hand to guide out. Try to bring the elbows to the back of your head. Chin up, looking forward. If you can bind hands behind your back, go ahead, bind your hands behind your back. Slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Hands on the shoulders, elbows slightly, elbows up. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Feel the pinch your shoulder blades. Opening up lung, heart, chest. Improving your posture. Or in the shoulder joints. When you're in the center position, we're gonna go into a full circle. Try to draw the elbow close together. And reverse. Slowly come back to center. 
Inhale, your arms up above the head. Lengthening the spine. Exhale, your arm to a side bend. Bending the lower arm, top arm is crescent moon. Chin is way from the body, eyes looking up. Lengthening the side of the body. We're going to inhale, arms up. Turn long, exhale to the other side. Bending the lower arm, top arm is crescent moon. Chin is way from the body, eyes looking up. And we're in her arms up. Turn along, exhale, twist. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. Slowly turn, overlooking your shoulder. Look at the back. Turning the leg as well. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles. Massaging internal arms. How can you do that, Jess and Because. Slowly bring the body back to the center. Don't let go of the front leg. Inhale the other arm. Forming a crescent. Looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Repeat on the other side. Opposite hand, opposite thigh. The other arm up and over. Bring it directly behind your spine. Keep turning, overlooking your shoulder. Look here at the back. We're going to inhale to prepare. Exhale to turn a little bit more. Stretching our lower back muscles on the other side. Massaging internal arms. One more breath. I'm going to slowly bring the body back to center. Don't let go of the front hand. Inhale the other arm up. Forming a crescent, looking up. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on the thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Coming into a tasso turn. Shoulder roll. Starting out a small circle. Gradually do a deeper and deeper tasso turn. Warming up the spine. When you're in the center position, Go the other way, reverse, touching all four corners of the space. Yeah. Slowly curl back to center. Inhale your arms up to lengthen. Exhale back down. Walking your fingers forward, elbows off the mat, shoulders relax. Chin is away from the body. Lengthening the spine. Keeping your neck and your spine in one straight line. Not dropping the head or rounding the back. And now we'll walk both hands to the right side as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of the body. We're going to stay here for three. Two. One, slowly walking the hands to the other side, as far as you can go. Feel the length in the side of your body. Couple more breath here. And we're slowly walking the hands back towards you. Coming into a neutral tabletop. Spread all your fingers. Wrists underneath the shoulder. Knees underneath the hip, top of the feet on the mat, neutral spine. When you're ready, we're going to go into cat and cow. Inhale, drop your belly, chin up, look up into a cow. Exhale, run your back as much as you can. Pull your belly tight to looking down into a cat. So we're going to do it a few times at your own breath and your own pace. Inhale one way, exhale the other. Connecting your breath with your movement. Creating spaces between vertebrates. Cat and cow also help people to relieve back pain. One last one. 
slowly come back to neutral spine, swing side to side, release tension in your wrist. We're gonna lift the left knee up, bottom of your foot towards the sky, push the sky wave for five. Just be mindful of anyone who has any wrist or knee issues. Slowly release, swing side to side. And we will repeat on the other side, lifting the right knee up, push the sky wave for five. Once you're done, slowly, slowly release. Swing side to side. Lifting the left leg up. And we're gonna have small little kick. Five no. times. No, no, no. Squeeze your butt in tight. Slowly release, swing side to side. And repeat on the other side. Lifting the right leg up, pulsing it up and down. For five, squeeze your butt in tight. And slowly release, swing side to side. We're gonna do one more. Lifting the right knee off the mat, open shut, coming up to hip height or wherever you're comfortable. Slowly release. And we're going to repeat on the other side, lifting the right knee up, hip height, open shut. And release. Getting ready to come up. So we're going to meet you in down dog. Spread out your finger, tuck your toes, lift your hips high, high up. Come into your upside down letter B. Pushing the mat away. Release the head down. Walking the dog out by alternating bending your knees like mountain climbing. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly walk forward towards the hands. And now we're in a forward bend. All ten toes facing your front legs are hipward. Dangle here for a moment. Let your stomach rest on your thighs. If you can touch the mat, touch the mat. If you cannot touch the mat, hold on to opposite elbows. Lengthening the spine, stretching our lower back muscles. Let the blood go the other way for a moment. Just be mindful that head is below heart. So if you don't feel good about this, you need to slowly come out of it. One more breath, we're gonna get ready to come up. Hands on waist for support. Inhale halfway up to a flat back. Exhale to slowly, slowly rise up to step you. Let your blood pressure get adjusted. After forward bend, we're gonna go back bend to counter. Interlace the finger behind, knuckles down and away from you. Left in chin up and head back, not pushing the hips forward. Shoulders and hips are level. Chin is away from the body. Further page your shoulder blades. Opening up that hard chest. Stimulating thyroid gland by lifting chin up and head back. One more breath, slowly, slowly release, shake it out. Come into crescent moon, inhale your arms up, palm touch, release index when you grow tall, exhale right towards the right side, chin is away from the body, eyes looking up, feel the length in the side of your body. Inhale, center to tall down, exhale to the other side. Now pushing the hips forward. Chin is away from the body, lifting up. Inhale, center to the top, exhale to the right. Release the bottom arm, top arm is impressive. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking up. Get a little bit deeper in your side bend. Inhale, center, lengthening, exhale to the other side. Release the bottom arm, top arm is impressive. 
Sai Bat Na. Slowly, slowly come back up. And land by your side. Check it out. Getting ready for sun salutation. So top of your mat. Big toes to touch. Align the edge of your feet to the edge of your mat. So listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Inhale your arms up, back bend, exhale, forward bend. Inhale halfway up to flat back, can sunshine, eyes looking forward. Exhale, hands on back, stepping back into a plank, shifting the weight forward. Beginners can drop to your knees, tap your elbow by your side and then. Inhale, cobra or up dog, shoulders relax, eyes looking up. Exhale, fall back on the knees, tap your toes, lift your hips high, high up, come into a down dog. We're staying here for five breaths. Spread out your fingers, bend our index finger facing forward. Separate your feet, two fists apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Release the head down by your ears, eyes looking at toes. One more breath here. Look between the hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up to the flat back. Exhale, forward bend. Slightly bend the knees. Inhale, your arms all the way up. Palm touch. Flat bend. And then I'm down by the side. Into a mountain pose. Continue. Inhale, your arms over salute. Back bend. Exhale. Forward bend. Inhale, halfway up to a flat back. Exhale, hands on mat. Step a hop back into a plank. Shifting the way forward. Chaturanga is all one breath. Elbow tuck by your side. Immediately, side up to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Take your time to set up. Lifting the hips high, high up. Pushing the mat away. Feel free to walk the dog out by alternating bending your knees. Shoulders are internal rotation, elbows are internal rotation, eye of the elbow facing each other. Create your low lunge on the right side. Inhale, right foot forward towards the right hand. Left knee on the mat. Front knee is 90 degree at the ankle. Square the hip to the front, arms up. Holding on to your ball. Palm facing each other. Pinky slightly curved in. Shoulders relaxed down from the knees. Eyes looking up. Place the palm together. Release index finger. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to sink. Slide back bend. Looking up. Feel the length in the left hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release. Good. Place the left hand forward. Right arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. Slowly bring your body back to the center. Left hand on your mat. Right arm up. Reach and stretch. Open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. Slowly, slowly release the top hand. Both hands on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of the foot, rocking forward, backwards, side to side to open up the right hand. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the right foot back to the center of the mat. Still 90 degree on top of the ankle. And we'll get ready for the twist. Turn the body to the right side. 
left hour on the outside of the thigh. Hands in prayer. Press mm -hmm. the palm together. Turn and look at the top elbow. Stomach not resting on the thigh. One more breath. Slowly, slowly release. Hands on mat. Make your way to the back of the mat for hamstring stretch. And your you come sit down, come sit down. Point the right toes up to the ceiling. Square the hip to your front. Inhale your left arm up to length. Exhale, we're going to forward. Roll along. Holding on to any part of the next the toe. Chain is away from the body, eyes move forward. Inhale the neck. Exhale, sun come down a little bit more. Neck is long, smiling straight. Chain is away from the body. Come in to see the twist. Mm -hmm. Bring the belly on the other side of the string leg. Opposite arm, opposite knee. Draw it close to you. The other arm up and over. Bring it right behind your spine. Or wrap right around your waist. Front arm can be stop sign hand. Play your hands. Any variation you like to challenge yourself. Keep turning. Overlooking your shoulder. Locate the back. Turning the neck as well. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly bring the body to the opposite side. Bow down, count the twist. Bending the elbows, more room to come down. As we stretch our lower back and open the side of your body. Slowly, slowly pushing yourself back up. Straighten out the legs, get the flesh apart out from your butt. And now we're in this back pose, hands by your side, shoulders are relaxed, chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Getting ready to do the double leg forward bend. Inhale your arms up to lift, exhale, head forward, roll longer. Holding on to any part of the feet, the legs. I'll release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Inhale the leg. Exhale, stomach come down a little bit more. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly, slowly release. We're gonna repeat everything on the other side. So now we have right knee on the mat, left leg forward. If you use a knee pad, move the knee pad to the other side. Front knee is 90 degree on top ankle, between second and third toe. Make sure it doesn't wobble in or out. Square the hip to the front, arms up. Holding onto your ball. Palm facing each other. Shoulders relax down from the hips, eyes open up. Place the palm together, release index when you inhale the leg. Exhale to sink, slide back bend, looking up. Feel the stretch in the right hip flexor. Slowly, slowly release. Getting ready for the twist. Right arm forward, left arm back. Turn and look at the back. Stabilize yourself. This is all right then. You got me to like them. Slowly, slowly release. Right hand on your mat. Left arm. Reach and stretch. Overlap the top hand. Look at the top thumb. 
Slowly release the top hand, both hand on the big toe side. Heel toe, heel toe, walking the left foot out to the edge of the mat. Feel free to come on the baby toe side of your foot, rocking forward, backwards, side to side, to open up the left hip. Yeah, Feel free to come down and for arms and up on the back toes for more intensive stretch. Yeah. If this is too much for you, please push yourself back up to the hand level. Listen to your body always to avoid injuries. Oh. Right Feel free to come up on the back toes. Lift yeah. the heel high, high up. And yeah. also open up the arms for more resistance. Dyson, Dyson, the top of the Slowly, slowly release. Make your way to the back of the hand. For hamstring stretch. Take your time to bend. Point the left toes up to the ceiling. Inhale the right arm up the leg. Exhale, hinge. Grow longer. Holding on to the inner part of the next little toe. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Next long, spine Uh, slowly, slowly come back up. Come to see this. Bring the bandit on the outside of the string. If you can, you can bend the bottom leg as well. Seated. 
it tells her you're the big Bring the soul of your feet together. Wrap your hands around the ankle. Sitting up nice and tall, rocking side to side, finding your sitting pose. Fly like a butterfly, flap about 10 times, opening up your joint. Draw the heel close to you. Grab hold of the big toe of the entire foot. Inhale, the length. Exhale, mm -hmm. forward leaning yeah. with the chest. Bring the arms on the outside of the chin. Birthday, sir. Sit out of your hair. Exhale to fold. Now forcing yourself to come down. Keeping your back fine, nice and slow. Sit your good tongue out, tongue. I think we'll sit out in food. We have to open up the hip joint before we can go any further. So there's going to be a point that you can't go anymore. Okay. And you have reached your boundaries. Let's do another three. Two. And one. Slowly, slowly rise up. Bring the knees together, we're gonna reach your white group. This is hip one. Hands behind you. Finger facing the same way as your feet. And we're gonna drop the knees from one side to the other side. Let it fall wherever it fall. Knees don't okay. necessarily have to touch the mat. Hips can come up. Is it to be out of here? My yeah. Uh, uh, freedom. Uh, I'm on the bed again. Really, man. Uh, top up, uh, Open up uh, and drop both uh, knees to the right side. Forming in 90, 90 degree. Make sure the butt stay there. You can also place a soft object or a towel underneath the butt for support. Turn a little bit out to the side. A little bit of discomfort as we stretch out the quarters up, hip joints. And we're going to stay here for three. Two. One, okay. slowly come back to center. Winch the white foot a few more times. Hip release. Good thought of your Monday, you're not fun. And I'm going to drop both knee to the other side. Okay. Forming a 90-90. You can adjust the angle to suit your knees. Oh, you can make two. Keep the hip oh, in there. Oh. Okay. Face a soft object underneath the hip. To bring it a little bit closer and more comfortable. Look at the opposite side, but you stretch you, or just a picture. Resident, never by me. We're going to stay here. One, three. In my love, the game. Two. You go with two. Once, we slowly come back to center. So so my so friend for Bounce it a few times. So my my problem. Okay. Use the link of the Right foot walking on the right toes. Bring the toes to you. 
bending the elbows more than you can bend. We are now up, reach and stretch, open up the top hand, look at the top thumb. After you have lengthened, you can slowly bring the top arm over, forming a crescent, looking up. Feel the length in the side of your body. And we're going to stay here for three, two, one. Slowly, slowly come back up. We're going to do a forward bend on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, try to straighten it. Shift forward, holding on to any part of the foot. Legs, hands on either side. Chin is away from the body, eyes looking forward. Neck is long. Find the stretch. Inhale to pick up. Exhale, start to come down a little bit more. Warming, global warming. <coughs> One more breath. Slowly, slowly rise up. We're going to walk the hands over to the other side. Spread all your fingers. This shoulder center line. Ground it to straight leg. Use your strong abdominal muscle to lift the hip off the ground. Top arm up. Reach and stretch, looking up, and we're gonna stay here for three, mm -hmm. two, one. Slowly, slowly oh. come down. And tomorrow, we go. Three guy on the other side. Grab the leg. Put it on the leg. Push the other side. Push the other side. Push the After you have lengthened, you can slowly push the other side. Over. Shine your chest up to the ceiling, looking up. Feel the leg in the side. Yeah. 94. Stretching out the organs on that side. Stimulating meridian point. And slowly, slowly release. Come into your forward band on this leg. So we're going to fold the leg that we're not using. Inhale your abs up. Lengthening the spine. Exhale. Turn your straight leg. Shift forward. Holding on to end of the foot. The leg. So release the hands on either side. Chin is away from the body. Arms looking forward. Inhale the length. Exhale. Start to come down a little bit more. Come back up. Slowly, slowly come back up. Walking hands over to the other side, getting ready for the gate pose. Grounding the straight leg. Spread the finger on the other hand. Wrist, shoulder uh, line. Use your strong core abdominal muscles to lift the hip off the ground. Tabana. Shoulders stand on top of each other. If you want to turn into balancing, lifting up the top leg, either point or flex. Be oh, mindful yeah. of those who have wrists. Oh, man. Man, king. Oh, oh. Or knee issues. Oh, 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 Slowly release. Oh, 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 And now we're in a comfortable seated position. I'm going to continue with shoulder stretch. Inhale your arms up above the head. Release index finger. We're going to drop the hands to the back of your head. Chin is away from the body. Eyes looking forward. Let's do another three. There is a bow side. bow side. One. Inhale the length. Exhale, we'll drop the outer side side. A private jet. Now, so you see it. Slowly, slowly come back to center. Release. Shake that. Alternating shoulder move, one up, one down. 